<clears throat> Hi, in today's video, you will <clears throat> learn how to <clears throat> how to puke cards. Yeah. Hi, my name is Bao. If you're new here, I'm a professional magician and I've been doing magic for over 14 years. Previously on my channel, I've taught in detail how to make a card appear and vanish from thin air, just like Scott Lang and Jimmy Woo. And today, I will teach you how to throw up cards. Uh, by the way, if you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to like this video because that is the best way you can support this channel. In this clip of Ant-Man, you'll see Paul Rudd who plays Scott Lang actually throw up the cards. Now, this is not CGI, he actually throws up the cards. I'm just kidding. He doesn't actually throw up the card, but it is a actual trick that you can do. And big props to Paul Rudd for actually taking the time to learn how to do the trick and actually performing it on camera. Also big props to Theory 11, who happened to be the magic consulting team behind that movie. Now, the funny thing about this trick is that no matter how many years you practice your other tricks, no matter how good you are, this one will always get more reaction than any other magic tricks. And that, as a magician, well, it's kind of sad, but hey, you gotta roll with it. Also, as a little disclaimer, I suggest you not to actually perform this in person, uh, just because of the today's current climate. Uh, you know, we are in a worldwide panini. So if you perform this on video, on Instagram, TikTok, then you should be A-OK. -okay. So in this tutorial, I will show you which cards to use, how to hold the cards, how to spread the cards, how to put everything together so that you can seamlessly throw up. Sounds weird. So if you wanna learn this, then... <clears throat> Let's get started. So let me show you which cards to use. Now, please, 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 please use a new deck of cards. You really don't want to be using an old deck of cards where many hands have touched the cards and then you're about to put those cards in your mouth. Nah, you want to use a new deck of cards. And let me show you which one. I'm not sponsored to say this, but we'll be using bicycle playing cards for this one. There's no better price to quality ratio than bicycle playing cards. Some comments saying that cards are too expensive might be the case for some people. However, you don't need to buy 15, $20 cards to do magic, just get these. Uh, the other cards are literally just same stock or slightly different with a nicer design or anything. But if you just wanna practice bicycle playing cards, also focus is great. All right, so let's unseal these. And now you've got a fresh deck of cards. Another note is please wash your hands. That's really important, just in general, but especially for this, you're, you're putting stuff in your mouth. So wash your hands. So palming consists of hiding the cards in your hand, in your palm. And when you look behind, uh, people don't see it. Now, how you can actually do the palm is uh, you need two points of contact, which is mainly the pinky and the base of your thumb around here. So let me place it. This is my comfortable spot for the palm. If you watch closely, you can see where the card is resting, mainly at this point of contact and my pinky here. Now, since you have a little more cards, you can have the extra support of these three fingers um, like this. But in general, uh, the main points of contact will be the pinky and the little uh, area right here on your thumb. Keep in mind that it's possible that your hands might be a little smaller. What happens then is that if your hands are too small, as long as you have it in here and on the pinky, uh, if they're too small and they're showing here, then you can move your fingers up here like this because your hands will be like this. They don't actually see here, but when they're resting on the side, a little more like this, okay? and. Another tip when you're palming is that you don't wanna leave your thumb out like this. You want your thumb to be here so that it actually covers more of the cards. So that is palming. So in order to get into the palm, you are holding the cards in standard dealer's grip. So thumb on the side, first finger here, and one, two, three fingers there. I am right-handed, but I'm holding the deck with my left hand because as a righty, I deal the cards with my right hand. So you hold the cards with your left hand. I will use my thumb to take out a small chunk of the cards and my pinky will kind of hold the cards like this. This is called a pinky break. Okay, so that way, uh, once 
it's here, I can have easy access to that exact amount of cards. Now, you'll be holding the cards like this, you'll be talking, and then once you are ready to perform, what you'll do is you'll be putting your hands together like this. Like, holding, like talking like this and then holding the cards back together like this is a very natural thing to do. So once you get back here, your ring finger will actually push the card in palming position. So if you can see here, it pushes the cards into palming position. Now, not only that the ring finger pushes the stack up, but my thumb and the middle finger also kind of helps me rotate uh, that pack because my hand is not directly like this. It's slightly in a natural position like this. So the thumb and middle finger will help me rotate that card and the ring finger will push it like this so that I am now in the palm position. So as a recap, you will pinky break on the amount of cards that you need. And then once you're ready, you're talking, you put your hands back together, your thumb and middle finger will rotate the card a little bit like this. It's resting on your ring finger and now it's pushing up so that you are now in palming position. So now you're ready to deploy the cards. So you can be talking like this and then boom, ready to deploy the cards. Now that you have the cards palmed, I will show you how to load the cards in your mouth. Now you might have seen Paul Rudd pushing his hand all the way in his mouth and then do it. I would typically try to avoid that just because I don't want it to be obvious that we have something in our hand and then we're feeding it in our mouth. We want to remove all suspicion that it actually came from your hands at all. But what I would do is a little more seamless, I find. You actually aim the corner to your mouth. So it's not actually like this, but it's actually like this. So it doesn't actually go up like this, but it actually goes like this, okay? So the corner will reach your mouth and then your second hand will join to spread the card. So yeah. like this. And we're going to get to how to spread the cards. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but I find that it does look a lot nicer when you uh, are able to spread the cards down like this and then the other cards are spread like this with your thumb. All right, so let me show you how to spread the cards, okay? Um, so the cards will get in your mouth and then your other hand will come join the card so that it can help with the spread. Now, first, the cards will be spread like this and then your, your other thumb, it will push the remaining cards kind of like in an S spread. So you'll see it'll go like this and then the other thumb will go like that. So your fingers actually pull just the front portion of the cards. So it pulls the front portion of the cards like this. And now there should be just a slight chunk because you're only pulling the front portion. With that slight chunk, your thumb is then spreading that part so that all the cards are spread evenly. So if you do it with the mouth, it'll look like this. And the nice subtlety is that when you have it in your mouth, it kind of bounces on your teeth, creating that extra sound. So like that. And then in the end, you could have one final card remaining in your mouth. Let's talk about when to perform this trick. I would usually avoid to say, hey, I'm going to throw up cards and then puke the cards. Uh, it doesn't work like that. It's usually uh, an element of surprise. So you can have a casual conversation and then all of a sudden, <clears throat> and then all of, <clears throat> ah, ah. all of a sudden you puke cards, okay? So that is usually how it goes. 
it's great to do maybe at the beginning of a set it could be in between tricks and it's usually on at moments where people expect the least it's especially great after uh, a kicker of a magic trick let's say like you just reveal the card everyone's clapping and then after the reveal after the punchline of a magic trick that is the best time to load and then surprise them with that uh -huh. this so usually those are the best times to perform uh, the, this trick. If you really enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing because I have so much more in store. I just gotta make the time for it. And just so that I know that you watched the whole video, then leave a comment saying 100K because that is our subscriber goal by the end of the year. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace. I can only imagine that there is guaranteed to be a number of people who will be using dirty cards and put them in their mouths for this trick. Like that is guaranteed to happen. Ugh. Please, please use clean cards and wash your hands. That is very important.